Here we've got a water level control process that is slaved to a flow control system. So we're measuring the water level inside this uh, container using a differential pressure transmitter. It's got an impulse line going over here. We're measuring the pressure on the bottom of that vessel. That tells us how high the water is. And then to control the level of water, we're actually throttling the amount of water that gets pumped into the top through that valve. But we are measuring the rate of water flow to this flow transmitter. It's another differential pressure sensor using an integral orifice plate. A little tiny orifice in there that develops a pressure drop as the water flows through. So what we have a, in the control system is a cascade control scheme that is using a master controller on water level and a slave controller on flow. We're going to go over and take a look at the screen now. So if we walk over to our control system screen, we see right here in the Delta V system, two displays. We see the master and the slave. We're looking at the faceplate of the master right now. This is the master process variable, master set point, and the output. So we're calling for a 60% level in that vessel, and we are achieving very close to 60% right there. The output of this master controller is going to the slave controller, which is measuring the flow rate into the vessel. So we click on this button right here, and now we see the slave faceplate. It's getting a set point from the master controller telling it how much flow it wants to see. And it's matching that flow rate. So if there's any upset that happens in the flow loop at all, like the pump starts spinning faster or a hose gets pinched or something of that nature that changes the rate of flow, the slave controller will immediately reposition the valve to bring us right back where we need to be on flow before we ever see an adverse impact on the level in the vessel. This is one way of compensating for uh, unexpected or undesired changes in load is to have a cascade slave loop take care of and correct those load changes before they have a chance to affect our master process variable. So again, a cascade liquid to flow control loop implemented on an Emerson Delta V control system with the water level as the master and water flow as the slave variables.